Hi, I'm Mark Clifford and I own Premier Outfitters in Western Kentucky. Back in 2000, I was on a roadbed in South Alabama with a friend of mine, Jimmy. I told Jimmy, I said, you know what? I'm gonna open a hunting lodge and I'm gonna name it Premier Outfitters because I wanted to be the Premier Outfitter in the United States. Well, fast forward to 2008, we opened our doors for business. Since that time, I've been blessed to have great customers uh, coming in and hunting with us every year. I've been featured on several nationally televised hunting shows, uh, got to hunt on camera, really love that. And a couple years ago, I was talking with some friends and uh, we tossed around the idea of doing a reality TV show. So we started filming and we came up with some pretty cool stuff, I think. I wanted to have a show that showcased what it took to put on a, an outfitting service like Premier Outfitters. We started out with 6,000 acres and now we've got 22,000 acres. And a lot of people when they come in to hunt with us, they just don't realize what it takes to do all the behind the scenes work. Uh, the stands, the food plots, the running the trail cams, just, just everything involved with it. So this show is not going to be your typical over-the-shoulder show that shows you, okay, we're hunting with a north wind today, deer's coming from this direction. You know, we're going to have some over-the-shoulder kills, but most of all, it's going to be the action and the interaction between the guides, what we do, and the hunters when they come into camp and, and their experience while they're, they're in camp with us. It's going to show the recovery of their animals, the excitement, the highs, the lows of losing deer, uh, some good deer footage, and we hope you're gonna like it. It's, uh, it's our first year, so no big budget. We're all self-filming, so some of the footage is not very cinematic like some of the high-end TV shows, but that's not what we wanted to do. We wanted to show you real, raw footage, nothing rehearsed, no, um, no scripts, no rehearsed lines or anything like that. So. I hope you like it. It's called Premier Outfitters the Season, and we're going to start right now. This is a story of Premier Outfitters, a world class whitetail hunting destination located in western Kentucky. Operating on 20,000 plus acres annually, Premier Outfitters is host to whitetail hunting enthusiasts from around the world. Come join the owner, Mark Clifford, and his team as they give you a behind the scenes look into daily life during their deer season. This is Premier Outfitters, The Season. And the cracks begin to show. Well, this is it, August 29th. This is the beginning of the Velvet Hunt saga for me. It all started for us back in January when we started all our prep for the season, the minerals, supplements, food plots, everything that we've done this year leading up to this velvet hunt. But this is the day for me that I have to tell the wife goodbye and um, head on up to Kentucky. I love you, baby. I love um, you too. It's a hard day. You know, it's... it's pretty rough when you leave your family and you drive seven hours away but that's part of part of deer season that's what we do and that's why we love it so much I'm gonna miss opening you. season and I'll miss you too I'll I be know. right here when you get home okay um well here we go August 29th we're off to Kentucky velvet season opens September 1st we'll see how things go I'm feeling real confident
of arriving in camp, Premier Outfitters owner Mark Clifford's phone starts the season's never-ending cycle of calls as he witnesses the season's first of many mishaps. Just two days left before the 2018 September archery opener, it's an all-out push to take care of all the last-minute prep before the hunters arrive at both camps. system on it, lifelines on them, and we've um, converted most of our stands over to the gravity forward climbing sticks. Exactly. <laughs> I don't think we'll need it this year. Last yeah. year, those mosquitoes were dive bombers. They're pretty wicked, aren't they? It's yeah. sweet and yeah. spicy. Yeah. 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 You're yeah. like that news. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, would, I would rather yeah. wear a t-shirt or a shirt like that. And, and I'm not a spicy my way. Okay, we're going to head up to the North Lodge. We're about 25 miles away. I've got a North Camp up there. We've got a group of guys in for the velvet hunt, so we're going to go shake hands and meet those guys and go over the little orientation meeting with them and welcome those guys to camp. They've probably already had dinner by now, but we're getting ready to say hello to those guys. Chris. Chris. Hey, Chris. Good. How are you doing? Yeah. Sure makes you a lot more at ease and comfortable with it when you know they're there. For yeah. You. And every spot's got three or four shooters. Yeah, I know. Mm. Yeah. Good shooters. Man. Yeah. Nice. And and some a whole lot more than that. Either. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You need anything? They're going to take care of you real good. Steve, you had something you wanted to say? I just want to make sure everybody. It's all the guides and Phyllis and I's numbers right here. So if you need anything, you can call us, okay? All these pictures you see me posting on the internet is because these guys here have been out in the woods and 
Is that kind of cool? Somebody else is going to do Any of them, and that's going to benefit us. No, I'm not going to tell you not to. If you let any of them good deer you let go, that's you. Someone else? That you won 55 and 60 next year, you know? So. Well, we just rolling out the first evening hunt of 2018. Got the fellas loaded up. Ready. Y'all ready to go after them? Oh, yeah. We ready. All I need is these boys to step out and prove that I ain't a liar to them. <laughs> how can hey, how can you sell, call, call yourself a professional guide when you freaking do chewing sandwiches when we should be looking at deer right now? You got to get your protein. Okay. You get it out of that cracker. No. Yeah, back in the Marine Corps when I was like 18, when I was Kyle's age. So what happened to that AC we was talking about? Yeah, yeah so. I'm good. I feel it. You can't feel it back there? Get a vent back there? I don't know. Ooh, that's nice. That feels nice. I mean, it's only 97 degrees outside. Thank you. Is it usually this hot this time of year? No, it's Seriously? Hotter. It's hot, it's really? Wait, I On the way, Kentucky opener afternoon. We put out that corn yesterday. Eric got that hat bird looking good. And uh, over that little field edge. It's gonna be fun down here this week. Premier Outfitters. Hey Mark. What's going on, Clint? No, oh, not much, but I got some good news for us. What's that? Jason's got a big buck down. Oh sweet, sweet. Yes. That's I know, man. I, I'm excited. <laughs> I may sound excited, but I just can't help myself when these hunters kill these deer. You know what I'm saying? I know, man. I, I've been so jacked up all afternoon, man. It's just like waiting on the phone call. And Five minutes later, and first buck came out, shooter. Second buck came out, shooter. Third buck came out, shooter. And I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to put this all together and picked out biggest body biggest rack as far as i thought i think i made a good shot on him but i don't know didn't look, look real well so we're gonna wait till tomorrow morning and just yeah. kind of after looking at the air maybe oh, so maybe well, good so it's, 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 i think we're just better off you know waiting to go in the morning you call that boy's got the dog yes sir if you would i'll call him like call he said he'd be more than glad to come up here and it's a, it's a deer tracking machine. 7.49, the last minute. I'd already text house to just come get me because all the deer are gone. Mm -hmm. And I, I hung my bow up and looked over and I, you can't see him from out of the woods right there on that stand, the cedar trees. He looked at me standing in the corner like, oh shit. <laughs> you know, and, Is that and that I, big 10? I'm pretty sure. Um, he was wide I counted 10 points. Yeah. Um, you know, I made sure he was well past his ears, way past his ears, it looked like. So mm -hmm. when I did that, he turned a quarter to me and a whack. Sweet. And buck after buck after buck after buck, and then a few does. And, and he stepped out. I, that's what I'm pretty sure it'd be that big one because he's by himself. And he stepped mm -hmm. out that dark. So. Sweet. I'm so, I'm so happy. <laughs> Man, I do. I... Premier Outfitters isn't just known as a world class whitetail hunting destination. They're also known to serve up some of the best southern cooking anywhere. Uh, Too late. That might be one of the best apple pies I've ever had. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Tracy, yeah, I've, been lot, I've been to a lot of, lot of outfitters and this, this ranks above any I've been. And uh, we're going to return. Okay, so day one is in the books. Going to go in in the morning. Hopefully we'll recover both of the bucks. That's just, you know, the highs when you get the call. Buck's been shot. And then the lows of, hey, uh, a little bit of blood or we think the deer was gut shot. That's, that is, uh, that can bring you down, you know, pretty quick. But real stressful. You know, we're always on pins and needles. We, we really care about our hunters and we want them to succeed. And, uh, we'll get after it again tomorrow, and hopefully we'll find those two bucks, and all will be well. We headed in here right after daylight. Uh, Clint's guy got a gut shot on a pretty big buck last night. We let him lay all night, didn't try to track him. We got a buddy, Justin, from Tennessee. Got a heck of a tracking dog, Bloodhound. He's got him here. We headed over here, gonna put him on the track. We're just gonna kind of stay back and let the dog do his thing. Hello? Yeah. 
Say it again. We just found Jason's deer. They got him. That dog found him. But I don't think he could have held up with no. that. No. <laughs> I cold nosed him. <laughs> All right. Well, we got the flare. We get her loaded up and get one. First 2018 white tail on the ground. Started it off on a high note. Let me up. Beautiful. Look at his mouth. It just here was too, angled right? back to a little too much. It's pretty. pretty. It's kind of red. So today is September 2nd, Sunday morning, day two, Western Kentucky Velvet Opener. We're with John and Troy from Illinois. They've hunted with us several times, and last night John let an arrow fly into a wide 10 point. Uh, when we started the track last night, uh, we seen the buck back in the woods bedded, so we backed out, we snuck back out, and went in doubt, back out, and we're heading back out there this fine Sunday morning to track this fine Western Kentucky velvet buck. You ready, John? I'm gonna get him. You look cool in your sunglasses. Uh, just as cool as my guide. Back out. Well, I hit him high. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Hey, man, we got him. Oh, you got him? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful deer. Sweet. Yeah. Probably a is high. He, is he beautiful? Oh, he's, he's, he's perfect, man. He's, he's high okay, one. Cool. Probably high 150s. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's awesome. Oh, that's well, I'm on my way. Over, I'm on my way over to the farm right now. We're on this guy all summer long. Good trail camp pictures of him. Uh, and I, I got to be honest, the happy herd minerals start bringing them in hard and heavy. Yeah, yeah, it won't, it won't be my last trip to Premier Outfitters. These guys are great and do a good job. And hey, that log, uh -huh. I said, uh, that branch is falling out. The only difference between the Congratulations. Nice, pretty tin. I think my after I got it done. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, you did. That's what I'm talking about. Big old velvet book. Wow. Premier Outfitters the Season is brought to you in part by these fine sponsors Happy Herds Nutritions. Put them where you want them. Nomad Outdoor. We are Nomad. Hurricane Safety Systems. Climb, hang, hunt, easy. Backwoods Grind Coffee Company. Experience the grind. Be sure to join us next time for the exciting conclusion of Premier Outfitters, The Season's Velvet Hunt. More big bucks will hit the ground, along with an ending you have to see to believe.